Hello there, my name is Finn. F-I-N-N. -N. And uh, I live on a sailboat with my family. And we've been sailing around the world for about seven years now. Now, uh, why is that relevant? Well, I figured since I'm sailing from Israel around the Red Sea, up the Suez Canal, and into the Mediterranean, I figured I would show you guys what a day in my life looks like as a 16-year-old boy who lives on a sailboat. What responsibilities do I have? And what do I get up to during the day? Yeah, starting tomorrow morning. Let's go. Ta-da! It's currently 11.41. I know I slept in, but I always sleep in because my night shift is from 12 to 3. This is the second day of the passage, and this is the day in the life. And I'm gonna try and be 99% real about it. So for breakfast, I'm not gonna go and make some avocado blueberry toast. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna eat cereal. Cause that's what I eat. Cause I'm an unhealthy teenage boy. <sighs> I've moved from my bed over here cause I wanna show you guys the view outside my window. And surprisingly, have a look at this. That's pretty neat, I would have to say. <laughs> And just like that, we're good to go. Wow! Nothing but ocean. Ocean, ocean. And a few boats. Look at how blue this water is. It's so freaking blue. Good morning. Good morning. Anyway, let's eat some breakfast. Wow. Just finished eating that amazing cereal and dawned on me that I've already been to the Mediterranean and been around Europe and I wanted to show all of you guys what I looked like when I was there. Look at how young I was. Look at little it's little Finn. <laughs> little Finn. Yeah. I'm so friggin' stoked to go back though. Gonna visit all the old places I've been to. Gonna create some new memories. Heck yeah. Yeah. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna go listen to music on deck. I'm back in my bed because I really don't have anything else to do. I'm gonna watch a movie, but before I do so, I ugh, wanted to answer the question about seasickness. Seasickness. Does my family get seasick? Do I get seasick? After sailing around the world for about seven years now, yeah, we still get seasick depending on the swells. Like if it's really rough outside, we're gonna get seasick indefinitely. But for like right now, it's not rough at all. So we're big chilling. For me, I don't get super seasick. I don't vomit or anything. I've never vomited from being seasick. Unlike my mother, which she has, and my brother, which he has. There are like medicines and stuff and tabs or whatever that you can put behind your ears, but they don't really work. Yeah, seasickness.
Yeah, I know. I'm cleaning the floor. It's because I'm a housewife. No, it's actually one of my chores. I have to clean the floors and I have to do the laundry. Yeah. Simple boat chores, right? Alright, I'm going to unzip the sail bag now because we're putting the main sail out. Meanwhile, Jack's putting fuel in the boat. Look at you go, Jack. You work hard. You I'm, do. A, I'm a good boat crewer member guy. Yay! As you can tell, me, me, shut up! Me and my brother are really close. Yes, we're very close. You touched me like that, that's getting weird. Ah! My mother, I love my mother. My mother love me too, I hope. Oh, of course. Sailing takes me away to where I've always been. Sailing is actually pretty boring. The best thing about living on a sailboat is one of the best things about living on a sailboat is having muscles. Yeah. John B in the Outer Shut Banks. Up. Got I got three words. Play station three. Ooh la la. Haven't played this thing in a while. If you can't already tell, I'm very pro. I'm a pro gamer. Um, yeah. I haven't played the PS3 in a very long time. I actually got this game when we bought this boat. If you really want to think about life and just get away from everything. Highly recommend going on a sailboat for a week. Just go out in the middle of the ocean. So peaceful. So, so peaceful. Here comes a story of a hurricane. I think it's dinner time. <laughs> yeah. Cut the drip on, about to eat the salmon. And then I'm probably gonna take a nap because my night shift is soon and I'm feeling a little tired and I don't wanna fall asleep on night shift. So I will catch back up with y'all when I wake up for night shift. Let's go. What's up? What's up? The time right now is 11.54. That means my night shift is in six minutes. Goody two shoes. My night shift goes from 12 to 3 a.m. I gotta stay up late. Yeah. My sister should come down in here and wake me up and get me out there. Um, but I'm awake before she's done that. So I'm just gonna go out there and yeah, we'll switch places out there. I'm a little tired, but it is what it is. I'm in the kitchen right now with Kate. She's just doing her chores and then she's gonna go to bed. 
Was there anything? It's a party right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm using this red light because it's easy on my eyes and it keeps my night vision good. But it's pretty dark out here. The camera's not gonna really be able to see anything. There's not really any wind. I've just gotta watch out for boats, shallow spots. It's gonna be a pretty easy night shift. Just motoring on up to the entrance of the Suez Canal. Yeah. I'm so stoked we're finally going into the Mediterranean. We've been in the Middle East for like five months now, six months now, and it's a great place, it's a lovely place, but I've seen enough desert. <laughs> Yeah, so if I get into any deep thoughts or anything like that, I'll uh, share them with you guys. And... But yeah, it's probably just going to be a pretty uh, non-exciting night shift. Nothing is going to happen, I don't think. Yeah, just me and my thoughts. One hour into my night shift, nothing's happened. I've been scrolling on my phone, because we have internet. I'm addicted to my cell phone. <laughs> I was just thinking, maybe I'll meet a girl in Europe. Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe in Greece or something? Romance. I love romance. I don't get a lot of romance, but I love romance. There's so much time to think about everything on night shift but when I bring up the camera I can't think of anything so I think that's gonna end this video ladies and gentlemen to end my night I'll go ahead and wake up Jack once my night shifts over and then I'll go to sleep in that's a day in my life if you enjoyed this video good morning, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> I was saying if you enjoyed this video you should go follow me on Instagram I post frequently on there too. Tune back in every Sunday for another video. You can actually watch another video here or here. Mm. Alrighty. Bye bye now.